All right, so. <clears throat> All right, so once again, we will start with a brand new canvas. Let's have a noise to start with. And also how texture, just so we can visualize what we are working with go to common and change the size to 1000 by 1000 to so to achieve this effect we want to make sure that the noise is very sharp hedges so to do this you can leave the harmony gain but reduce the exponent so i'm just going to put all of those to zero step number oops sorry step number two it's going to be animating this noise so we're going to go to transform and rotate it um it's apps apps time dot seconds i think yeah there we go so we are going to make it rotate on the X and the Z axis. And now it's moving. So next thing we want to do is to reduce the amount of details we have into the image. So almost we want it to be like pixelated even more. So to do that, we use the level operator go to oh not level sorry limit operator <clears throat> and we go to quantize so quantize is like going to reduce the amount of details it's it's, it's not the same as like it's going to pixelate but see it like it's going to pixelate so if we go to ceiling oh no sorry quantize position, ceiling, and then we plug it in. Then if you decrease to zero, it's the original, and the more you pull this guy up, the more it pixelate the image. So select one that you like, and copy paste three time. And what I love is <clears throat> going to have three different layers of those. So maybe 0.15, some sort. Zero and zero 0.15. Right. Um, <clears throat> next step is going to take the edge out of those. So let's take a uh, hedge. Sadly, we cannot plug three hedges, so Let's just um, hedge. And now we take the edge of the tree texture we just created. And <clears throat> then we're going to combine those three together. So if I show you what we have so far, we have one layer here. We have another layer there. And we have another layer <clears throat> okay. First of all, we don't want the alpha. We want the, well, we want the alpha to be one. So all the background is black. <clears throat> so the reason why we are going to do this is now we're going to use a composite, 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 and plug tree together. <clears throat> By default, it's set to multiply. So one very interesting thing about these three layers is that for every pixels, let me open paint just to show you what I mean. So technically we have one pixel, we have another pixel, and we have another pixels, right? And what we do is we take the value of each and we multiply it, right? So multiply A, B, C, right? 
So if one pixel is white and the other is white and the other is white, then it's going to give us one. If this one is black, then as soon as, as there's one black into the tree pixel we try to multiply, it's going to give us then zero. So instead of that, we're going to say had. So if if there's one, zero, zero is going to be one. If it's one, zero, one is going to be us two, but we can clamp it later. Anyways, let's just change it to comp and go to multiply and say had. Et voila. <clears throat> so already, we're starting to see some interesting pattern. What you could do is also animate all of these differently. So if I go over there, I could, like we could add a bit of offset. So it's a bit hardcore. So let's multiply by a small number or oh, oh, times 0 0.0.5, just to give it, yeah, a bit of motion. <coughs> and the next step, we are going to introduce a feedback loop. So plug the composer side into a feedback loop. Feedback. And um, insert this into the feedback. Then you want to add a composite out of this here. And also um, insert a level. So uh, yeah, and again, this goes there. So again, what we'll do is plug this one and say we want to add again. <clears throat> so what's happening here, you can see the original getting blended. So what we want to do is to feed this one into the feedback. So take the come, drag and drop. And already we start to have a bit more what we want comp to add and just be after the level it's add a transform so to give this kind of depth effect what we do is we will take the the feedback and scale it down a little bit so go to transform over here then you can rotate it you can play around with those actually but for now let's say zero and just scale it down. So if you scale it down on the X, as you can see, it shrinks towards the um, the center, but on the, well, it gives this, this impression that it shrinks towards the center. Let's say it's smaller one, then it moves more, then it's very disgusting. We can see this kind of hedges, um, not hedges, but now things like every frame <clears throat> it's squashed by 0.1. So I'm going to say uh, by 0.5, sorry, 0.1 here. And I'm just going to say 0 0.95 and 0 0.95. So now, or, okay. So now we have this kind of uh, interesting thing happening. If we scale a little bit, rotation angle <clears throat> well you can see it's starting to draw so uh, let's say zero here then level if you want like you can set the more you increase the brightness of the feedback the more it gives this kind of depth effect so might be something you want to do with music I don't know for now I'm just going to leave it to point 86 around one and so now it's very blocky so if we go over there and we start to tweak around those you remember when we started to quantize then we can see that each layers Uh, different 
amount of pixelization or like line down like now. So you can play around with those. So if you add more, you could. <clears throat> so what I love to do is to have the first one almost to zero, increase a bit more, and the first one like very blocky. So yep. <clears throat> So yes, um, once again, I'm going to save this into day 001 final. You can download and have fun with it. Thanks for watching.